Hi everyone, no cheese today, uh, I might bring some back tomorrow, um, so I've got lots of rubbish on left, didn't eat all of it, um, so yeah I might bring that out for another outing because it's delicious and it's fun to try with things. Um, quick one, so I posed the question, I tried a um, uh, single varietal Kingston Black a few videos ago from Bridge Farm and Kingston Black is often heralded as the greatest of the of the um, cider apples, the British cider apples. Um, and at the time of filming the last video, I think I suggested that I wasn't sure that was the case. For me, for me, that I'd had much more pleasure from things like Yarnton Mill, Dabernet, even things like Stoke Red, I mean, several things, I could, uh, apple varietals I could name actually, which for me is single varietals, I, I'd seen, I th thought were consistently better. Um, so I'm going to try another couple of Kingston Blacks. So I've got a couple here. I've got one from Greg's Pit in this box here, which is a still cider. And I've got one from uh, Guatkins, which is in this box over here. So I thought what I'd do is just do a quick film, try them both. It's one of the cork and crown bottles. Maybe you can see that. Cork and crown. Just stick labels on. Costs a bomb to get bottles made with them, with them sort of branded. These stickers cost 12p each. I'm a cheapskate, essentially. That's what I am. So, first off, uh, Greg Spit, James Marsden. Talked about him a lot. Love his stuff. Um, he is a very small producer, less than 7,000 litres a year. I think he said about 5,500 when I was there recently. Um, so no oak, just in steel and wild yeast. So effectively, this is about as non-interventionist as you can get in terms of a cider. Because he hasn't keyed it, he's done bottle conditioned it. It's literally just the juice as is once it's fermented. I'm not sure he back sweetens. Don't think he back sweetens. So this is literally, as nature, well, intended. If nature intended us to make cider and get drunk, then this is what nature intended. So let's try it. Pour it out. Okay. So yeah, I've read lots and lots of times that it was the, it was the king of cider apples. I'd never really had anything that made me go, wow. And I thought, you know, is it me? Am I not getting it? You know, a bit like the Emperor's New Claws. I'm like, oh yeah, it's very nice. But actually, I'm not sure. I'm not sure that I personally like it as much as I do many other varietals, as I already stated. So anyway, let's look look at this. So this is slight haze. It's actually quite pale, pale gold, I would call that. And yep, yeah, obviously no sparkle. It's absolutely um, still. No head, because it's absolutely still. Wild yeast. Let's give it a sniff. So I would say that for James, this is on the funky side. Not as funky as, say, a lot of Ross and Wise. But it's only got a little bit of funk about it. It's quite wild outside. It's raining, windy. So yeah, if you can hear the wind blowing, then I don't know. Good, good atmosphere, innit? it? Makes an interesting atmosphere for video. But I hope you can hear me over it if it is. Uh, if you can hear that, uh, some of the sniff. Yeah, a little bit of funk. Slight smokiness as well. Now, last time I got smokiness. My neighbour had just lit the barbecue, and it was in fact the barbecue that I could smell. But it's 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 um, raining, uh, and I'm pretty sure they're not barbecuing. So maybe it is. Maybe you know what? I think someone's lit a barbecue and it started to rain because there is this distinct smokiness. Let me just try this again. Context is everything. Really well, no. I'm going to say not smoky. And if there is, there's a hint. A um, little bit of funk. I mean, the merest bit of fruit in the background, like ripe aged fruit, but it's not a massive nose, but yeah. Bit of funk, bit of fruit, yeah. That's that sulfurous volcanic thing. Let's have a taste. Okay. This is dry. I mean, it feels like there's a hint of sugar in it. I don't know if he's put any sugar in it. I don't think so, though. 
I literally tried out of the fermenter and he filled the bag of rock out of the fermenter I just tasted. So I think whatever's there was just popped there. Um, but it tastes like there's a hint of sugar in that. I don't think it's wrapped off a lot. It's sort of taken out the nutrients so that it doesn't full or fully dry. Or whether it just hasn't fully fermented yet. And there's still a few degrees left in there. And if I left it long enough, it would start to ferment in the bag and my bag might blow a bit. So I might have to bleed it. Keep a check on that. Make sure that I don't have um, Kingston black bags blowing up in the shed. Um, so, the thing about Kingston black is sugar, acidity, tannin is nicely balanced. And I would say that this is nicely balanced. Hint of tannin, could probably do with a bit more. It's hint of tannin. Um, I mean, the sugars. I've, I mean, six percent. So maybe there's a little bit of residual sugar in there. But there's a hint of sugar. But just a hint. I mean, it's, you know, for most people this would be dry. But there's a tiny bit of sugar in there. And there's a tiny bit of acid as well. A little bit. But sort of a well, lactic, I guess. So it's all in balance, but it's all quite muted. This is a pleasant cider. It really is. Um, it tastes very pure, which is what I kind of thought it would be. Um, is it making me jump up and punch the air and whoop? No, oh, evidently not. Um, I would have jumped up, punched the air, punched the air and whooped if I felt the urge, um, but I didn't. So let's neck this. I'm gonna throw it away. It's seven o'clock at night. I can have a drink. Right, Kingston Black from Gawkins. Yeah. So we'll look, so this has probably been in oak. This might make a difference. They do a lot of oak aging at Gawkins, as opposed to just the steel that James does. Um, so this is darker. I mean, it's, it's amber, very hazy, very hazy. You can almost see the solid floating in it. Um, yeah, amber, quite a pale amber. Um, but absolutely, I mean, I can't really see my fingers through that. This is an unfiltered cider, no mistake. So Gorkins usually have quite a sweet tooth. What balances out their sweetness, though, is this brilliant acidity that they get. Um, one of the best examples for me is in, like, the, what have we had? Some of the Perrys I've had from them, the Old Field, I think, in that one. It was sweet as anything, but the acidity was amazing. It just made it so drinkable. They're, um... Original blend, 4.5%, uh, but delicious. I mean, for a 4.5, something that's like low alcohol, it's not really, but you know what I mean. Um, it packs so much flavour. It's got like honeyed apple and then lemon and lime in the back end. I would say it's like a locket, cough sweets, without the menthol. You know, that, that, that kind of thing. It's just great. You just drink so much of it. Even though it's quite sweet, the lemon and lime acidity just cuts through it brilliantly. Um, so let's see what this is like, see if it's got more acidity or whatever compared to the um, Greg's Pit. So what's the ABV on this one? It is, this is 7%, okay? Okay, on the nose straight away, which it's got that acidity, absolutely has it. Yep, it's there all right, and it smells like... Mm, sort of lemony, but it's almost like... like like burnt sugar with, with, with sort of lemon in it. Lemony burnt sugar. I don't know if it makes any sense whatsoever, but that's kind of what I'm getting. Okay. Um, it's actually quite nice. It's quite perfumed, this. I don't know if I'm specifically getting get a little bit of, yeah, I write happily in there as well, but it's quite perfumey, I see. Yeah. If anything, it reminds me of the um, Exmoor Mellow. Uh, from Secret Orchard. This doesn't have the acidity, but it's an amazing, intense apple when you smell it. It's incredible. Okay, let's try it. Okay. My mouth is watering. Absolutely plenty of acidity in there. Almost bordering on acetic. People who judge ciders would think that was a terrible thing to say. They would say that was um, uh, derogatory, it was a terrible flaw, and it shouldn't be there. Well, 
I don't mind if I've got that. I think I've said before, it reminds me of like Flanders red ales and, and Bruins from, from, from Belgium, which have like acetic acid in. And I always think I want to have fish and chips with it, with the salt on, but no vinegar, because you wouldn't need it because of the, the, the sort of acid in the beer would provide what the, you know, what the, what the vinegar would normally provide. Um, okay. So it's very mouth watering. No, it's 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 bone dry, absolutely bone dry. Um, so normally what I expect is the sugar to balance the, the acid. It's not doing in this. So the acid is pretty forthright. More tannic than the Greg's Pit as well. So this is this is bigger and beefier for sure. Um, there is some sour apple in there as well. I would think on the, the back of the palate, a bit of leatheriness as well. Just a bit a bit. Uh, Bit of leatheriness from the from the hard tannins on the back there as well. Um, I think this is a richer, bigger, more complex drink. I like a bit of sugar. I think if you didn't like sugar, you might well like this. You might well go for it. It's um, it's but these sorts of things, these dry ciders for me, are usually brilliant if you pair them with food. Cheese. Should have brought some cheese. Didn't bring any cheese. I'll have to do that next time. Um, but yeah, um, again, it's quite balanced though. It's big, but it's quite balanced, which, which, which is in line with what, you know, what I've heard about Kingston Bike in general. Um, yeah, but I like both of them. They're both tasty, both very different, um, but neither of them have like blown my mind. Um, yet to be convinced. If anybody's watching this and is able to recommend me a Kingston Black that will, with all, that will, Give me a light bulb moment, which will open my mind to it in a way that it's not been opened yet. I'd be very grateful if you posted it. I'll let me know what it was. One way or another, email, whatever. Don't mind. Yeah, there you go. Kingston Black. Is it the King of Cider Apples? Don't know. Okay, guys. Uh, I'm going to go. I'm going to finish my Kingston Black. And I hope to see you again soon. And until then, cheers.